Margaret Horner is a British artist. Now we have her painting of uh, Bakita, who uh, is a, a famous, uh, a famous religious woman coming from Africa. She came to uh, to Italy long time ago when no one uh, uh, talked about immigration at that time. And uh, but now immigration is uh, a serious problem, especially I mean uh, the problem of uh, people running from wars, from uh, uh, countries which are destroyed by wars, and uh, it's a problem uh, you feel very much. So you will also come to Calais in, uh, in next uh, Sunday. Why? Yes. Well, I, I went originally with the group at Christmas, and we took photograph. I took a lot of photographs. And I did put them on Facebook, and people couldn't believe that people were living like that in this in this century. Um, and we got a lot of support, people giving clothes. Um, and then I went went to maybe three times. I interviewed people. Just two of them, they spoke just Arabic. One man, one man, he wanted to go back, but he would be killed if he went back home. And the other boy, he was about seventeen, and. I mean, it was all translated for us, but what had happened was when their boat was uh, getting into difficulties, the um, Americans were just taking photographs from their boat until a helicopter came, and then uh, they started to rescue them. But he, he started to drown, and he couldn't swim, and apparently a dolphin saved him. So it's saved by a dolphin? Saved by, saved by a dolphin. He was only 17 at the time. You see, the dolphins are more human. Yes, <laughs> more human than us, more helpful anyway. But uh, which solution, which alternative we can think about this problem? Because of course, uh, many people say it's not possible to welcome everybody, uh, every every person running from wars. It reminds me of a story of a. Is it a problem of numbers or what? Well, th it reminds me of a story. Someone said, "How can you of a role in the world to help?" And um, there's a story where a lot of turtles had got washed up on the beach, and a boy was getting one turtle and putting it back in the sea. And this guy says, what are you doing? You know, there's so many turtles. What difference can you make? And he said nothing. He just got the turtle, put it in the water, and said, made a difference to that one. And I think we can only deal on this very small osmosis kind of scale with what's in front of us. And our mission when we went to Calais was a humanitarian one. There were people without shoes. There were people without clothes, so they were all cold and they were hungry. And there was nobody, there were two volunteers. And then since Christmas, there were more volunteers, it's more organized. And now the whole world knows about it because of what is happening. And in one week, a friend of mine, she got a quarter of a million signatures and she went to turn down in the street with them and she went on television. And because she used the, the child that had died as a photograph, and she got into a lot of trouble from her friends, they thought it was evil to use that photograph. I came to her of a defense and said, it's not that per photograph that is evil. It is what's caused it that is evil. And in that one week, everybody has changed their tune, that we can't ignore people or think that they're less than us. In fact, if we turn our back on this, what's the point of living anyway? Thank you very much. <laughs>